Hey everyone on YouTube, so today's video is going to be designed differently. Um, I'm going to be replacing my math sensor, mass airflow. Um, hopefully this will fix my shifting issues. It came as a, uh, came with some advice from my brother. He runs a similar engine to mine. So this is a 5 pin mass airflow sensor, basically it senses how much air goes into the engine so it knows how to properly fire the system. I am once again going with Spectra Premium brand, same as I did with the alternator. Um, and I've had no issues out of the alternator, so let's see if the trend continues. So, first things first, in order to remove this, I'm going to have to take this off, this hose, the clamp in there, one of these kind of clamps, and these two clamps, because as you can see, the new one doesn't have any connectors or anything besides the sensor itself, so I'm going to have to use the original boots and stuff. Um, so let's get started. Now, as you can see, I removed this hose. This is now loose. I've also loosened this, as well as this one. Be careful with this one, because on mine, the housing is partially stripped right here. Because that housing is partially stripped, it uh, this likes to come out, so I have to screw it back in, and then unscrew it to loosen it. Um, so, let's go ahead and get this off here, shall we? Uh, once again, this is a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix with a non-supercharged engine. As you can see, I got it apart. I will have to reuse this part as well as this part. And if you notice, this has an arrow pointing towards this. I have it set up this way so when I put the other one over here, I can put it together correctly. Um, in order to get this off, I had to remove the ring and then pull the gasket off. Uh, not gasket, the clamp sealing. Understand this. I know what I am doing. I just have trouble remembering the name of parts. Um. Anyways, let's see. I want to wash these down. However, I don't know what I can use that won't damage them. However, what I am going to do is wipe them down with a microfiber cleaning cloth. This way, they are in decent shape to be reused. Also, when you're doing this, inspect these for any tears or cracks. This way, there's no dirt or debris making its way past these. Uh, after all, this is meant to help keep your engine clean from all dirt and debris, as it is the air intake, and this is my filter box. So, there's a piece of advice for once. Um, while we're here, might as well take a quick look at this. If y'all remember from a previous video, I cleaned this out. And I need a flashlight for y'all to see in there, however, the auto body's still perfectly clean. So, makes me happy. Um, also, I suggest you only do this when the engine is cold. Uh, oh, and then we're going to later get into my new stereo system. See y'all in a bit. So, we're about ready to get everything put back together. I have completely clean inside and out, as well as this piece right here. Focus. Once again, I am recording on my cell phone. But, if you can see in there, it's completely cleaned up. I just cleaned up the, uh, oh, clamps up some. Now, this is the old one. Not sure if you can see in there, but both of those are completely dead. And here is the new one. Come on, focus. As you can see, those are brand new. Um, so let's go ahead and get this put together, shall we? Now remember, this goes in a certain direction. That is the wrong direction. And that is the correct direction. If you're ever curious on which way it goes, air needs to flow this way past a guard just to be safe to make sure that 
If something manages to bypass this filter, if it's big, it will not pass this. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it put together. As y'all can see, it is back together. Uh, I made sure to make this completely flush. Also, if you're ever curious on how these go together, they got little notches to help you put the gaskets back on. This part clamps into here, this little outlet. And then this part obviously goes here. So, let's go ahead and get it put back in. Uh, sorry for such a short little how-to. See you in a bit. Okay, she is now completely back together. Make sure you re-tighten this, this, and this. Double check your work after everything's back together. Also, don't forget to hook up this hose, as well as hook up your sensor wire. Use dielectric grease if you have it. If not, when you can get it, put some in there. It helps keep moisture away from the inside connections. As you can see, oh, everything's nice and good. And we're going to start the car up real quick. Uh, and I will... I'll hit record again once after I have it started. And as you can see, she's running. Uh, as you can see, she is running. So, it seems to now have a lot more power and responsiveness whenever I press the gas pedal. So, I consider this a success. I will hold on to the old one for a week. I always hold on to parts like this for a week just in case the new one fails for any reason. I can toss the old one in and send the new one back for a replacement. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Uh, anyways. Uh, well, I guess that's it for today's video. Um...